feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. Hey guys and besties! <laughs> Sorry about that. One of my classmates told me that I should use that as my new intro, but I'm not so sure about it. Anyway guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ketria. And today we are testing TikTok art hacks yet again. If you guys want to go check out my old TikTok art hacks video after this one, they'll be up in the iCards and down below in the description box. Anyway, let's get on with it. And don't forget to subscribe and comment down below with your favourite art hack from this video. Okay, so the first one I tested was some different colour pencil blending methods. As you guys can see, here is the TikTok. And basically the three methods were baby oil, olive oil and a nail polish remover. Unfortunately I didn't have baby oil or I do have nail polish remover but I just couldn't find it. Anyway, so I decided to use some olive oil and test out how well it would blend together colour pencils. As you guys can see for the first one, I drew a little black circle with a line in between and then coloured it all in in bluey turquoise. And then on one side, I used a little q-tip and some olive oil and tried blending it together. As you guys can see, it did really well. The coloured pencil blended really awesomely and it just looks really good. But I also decided to test it again using different coloured pencil to see how much more difference it would make. So for this one, I used some pink colour pencil and went in, in with the q-tip and the olive oil and it made a huge difference. Um, it's a lot more obvious on the pink one but it honestly looks really good. The colour pencil was really blended together and it got nice and dark. It didn't go through the page too much either and this hack definitely worked. I need to use this in the future. Anyway, the next TikTok art hack I tested was basically using a empty sort of ballpoint biro pen and then drawing a picture with it and then going over it with colour pencil to make a really cool bit of artwork as you guys can see Basically, I knew that this would work, but I still decided to try it. So as you guys can see, I just drew a little like flower using my empty ballpoint slash biro pen. I have way too many useless old pens that don't work anymore, so this was great. So I did that, and then I went over it with some purple pencil, and it worked really well, as you guys can see. I also repeated it using a the same biro, drawing a different picture, and going over it with a blue pen. No, I'm presuming the deeper you go, the more obvious the picture is, but then again, you don't want to pierce a piece of paper. I would just say try it out and experiment and see how well it works for you, but it does definitely work. So for the next one, it was a DIY stylus, and technically it is art, but you could also use it for not art, if you know what I mean. So basically I followed all the instructions on the DIY stylus pen, so it was like getting an empty ballpoint pen, getting a q-tip, sharpening it kind of, my one didn't really sharpen but oh well, and then popping it into the old pen, adding foil, adding water and then the person who did this, their one worked but my one didn't work. I tried adding more water and experimenting with it but Honestly, it just didn't work for me. And I have seen these kind of things on like 2018 YouTube where they used to make stylus pen. They always work. I don't really know, it just didn't work out for me. Maybe if you try this and do it a bit better than mine, yours might work, but um, yeah, my one kind of failed. Anyway, next up, this one was more of a tutorial than a hack, but it was just how to mix skin tones. Away. 
and this was really important for me because I don't know I just can't mix skin tones I used to just use this like beige color for every skin tone because I didn't know how to mix my own so this was pretty useful and I just followed all the instructions to make different shades of skin tone obviously even if you follow it you still need to play around and stuff to get the right skin tone that you need but I think this is a pretty good base for how to color skin tones and stuff and it worked really well so I would definitely recommend using this as your base for mixing skin tones and after this I decided to make a whole like painting using my new skin tones that I had made and I'm sure you must have seen this on Pinterest where it's like it's like your body up to there and then there's like flowers coming out of your neck and here is where the next hack also kind of came in So yeah, I was really stupid during this for the first one. I tried it on my arm and it failed so badly because my arm is really hairy and the tape just brought off like half my hair. It felt like I was waxing myself with masking tape and it really hurt so I would not recommend that. I don't know why I did that. Next time I tried it on my pajamas, so on my clothes and it was a bit weird. So like the one before, it came out with lots of hair. <laughs> I don't know. So that wasn't really the best. Yeah. Anyway, I decided to try this again, but instead of putting it on myself or on clothes, I decided to do it on the table. So I just like repeatedly stuck it on the table and pulled it off and stuck it on and pulled it off and then I put it on my piece of paper and yeah. Anyway guys, there is a little time lapse of me doing the, um, I don't know what you call it, but I did a little painting of that, and here it is. And then after that, I went in with the, like, green and the flowers, not on camera, because that wasn't really the main part of it, but I did do that. And I also peeled off the tape, and peeled off pretty well. But I am going to say it does depend on how strong your tape is and you have to kind of peel it off an angle so it doesn't rip off the piece of paper. And also I had left the tape for about a week before I peeled it off because I took a gap in between my painting. I think it is super pretty. I don't do many green stuff so this was really fun. I love the whole skin tones that I made and also for the background I used turquoise and pastel green to make it because I couldn't decide between the two. And the sunflowers were just really simple and really easy. Anyway, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below your favourite one. Also, don't forget to subscribe because about like 80% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So if you all subscribe, that will honestly help me grow my little YouTube channel so much. And anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. You really make me wanna fly Cross my heart and hope to die